The city of Jacksonville reviewing an emergency demolition permit to tear down the Rise Doro apartment building. The luxury apartment complex downtown was still under construction when it went up in flames over the weekend. A structural engineer tells News for Jacks the emergency demolition means that a lot of investigative work won't happen now. And News for Jacks reporter Tiffany Salome joining us now live near the site of that massive fire. And Tiffany, that structural engineer explained to you what's going to happen next. Yeah, he says normally that a fire investigator and a structural engineer would go inside the building to determine what caused the fire before it could be torn down. So now we may never know. He tells me he has some concerns about how fast the city is starting the demolition process. With 20 years of experience as a structural engineer, Andre Lopera has helped lead rebuilding efforts for dozens of projects in Jacksonville. I design buildings and then I also assess buildings after any sort of issues happen with the building, whether they collapse, whether there's a fire damage, water damage, things like that. He met me at the site of the fire gutted Rise Doro apartment building that's under emergency demolition orders by the city. Why do you think the structure is compromised now? Is it all the water firefighters used or is it the fire itself? Well, right now, we don't know what the intensity of the fire was nor its duration. So that information would be, would be helpful. But right now, what we know is that thousands of gallons of water were poured into the fire. So we have a structural wood system that was weakened by fire, and then thousands of gallons of water were poured into that. And then once that happens, the flooring system becomes weakened, and then the floors start to collapse, and then the building normally collapses after that. And how long will the process of rebuilding take? I can imagine if they go back in with the same exact plans, same exact architecture and engineering plans, and the same MEP plans, uh, about one to two years. But is that a concern, rebuilding, when we don't know how the fire started? Yes, it is. Because right now, we don't know any of any, anything about how the fire started, we don't have a structural assessment of what's remaining of the building. City officials said a final pressure check inspection for the sprinkler system was scheduled for this week. That is a significant concern because if they go back in with the same exact plans, how do we know that, that same issue is not going to happen again? 